Can you tell just by looking at this what time it is? Did you cheat and look at the title of the video? All right, yeah, it's garlic. It's time to pick it. Woohoo! So I might be a little bit early. Uh, it's turning yellow. I probably could let it go a little bit longer. But I think we're going to start getting into a rainy part of the season. Uh, looking ahead at the weather, it's saying rain. And i rather pick this when it's dry. And it's been dry for several days. I haven't watered it. It's very dry underneath, uh, powdery. So when I pull the bulbs up, I should be able to clean them and really well. So I don't really just, you know, and I dug down because I just can't wait. I dug down, they feel pretty good sized. I could let them go another probably week or so, but I don't wanna let them get too, too yellow because then that will mean that it's gone by. So we're gonna go ahead and pull these up and start them drying, probably in the greenhouse. We'll see how that goes. It gets plenty of airflow and uh, the it's staying dry inside there. So I think that'll work. But let's pull a few of these up and see what we can find. So I've been so busy that I have neglected the uh, weeding in this bed quite a bit. I've weeded a few times, but it grows so quickly with the garlic. I'm not really sure why. But uh, anyway, so we've got a lot of weeds in here, but that's okay. So as you can see, there is a big, hopefully you can see. Let's get you down there closer. Look at that. That is a big old garlic bulb. Look at how beautiful. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous bulb. Let's see if we can pull it out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful bulb. Gorgeous. Now last year I grew gar garlic for the very first time and it was very small. I think it was the kind that I got. It was really hard to find garlic. But uh, this year, I don't know. I think we got some good garlic bulbs there. Very nice. Let's get to getting the rest of them out. Okay, so there is my garlic. I have got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 bulbs of garlic. Pretty good sized, pretty good. Uh, one of them, this one. So this one I left the scape on because I was gonna let it go to seed and I've changed my mind. I decided I wanted to see how small the bulb would be if I left the scape on. A lot of people are saying, if you leave the scape on, it's a smaller bulb. So it's definitely by average, a little bit smaller, but it's not the smallest. I'm thinking this one's the smallest bulb here. So I would say it may be true uh, you know, I just went by one. It, you know, if I was going to do it, I'd have to have a control group of more than one and all that. But I got some pretty good sized bulbs out of it. And uh, they smell really good. I can smell them. And I think they did really well. They're still a little dirty. 
because they were wet down, you know, under the earth, even though up here is dry, down underneath is still a little damp. So they're still a little wet. I'm gonna take them and cut their roots off and go lay them out in the, in the greenhouse. All right, so I'm just gonna cut the roots off. You don't need those anymore. And I'm gonna leave the stalks on because I am gonna eventually hang them up. Not tonight, but I will hang them up. So this is all I do is just cut them. I'll set them over here. Go to the next one. I still got a lot of dirt in there. A little haircut. There we go. And that's all I do. Just trim them all. There we go. All the tops are off them. They've got some air flow. I've got them kind of staggered. You know, staggered and give them a little air flow. Of course, this is a very small amount of garlic compared to a lot of people that do this but it's basically the same uh, this is hard neck garlic i believe it's music garlic uh, so hard neck garlic of course check your area uh, if you have soft neck or if you're in a warmer climate uh, it, it may be something different but when i pick it it's they've got some brown on the leaves, the leaves are starting to die off. You don't want to go too, too far and let them get really brown because then it's gone beyond the picking point as far as hard neck garlic goes. But these are looking pretty good. These are a lot bigger than last year. Last year, most of my garlic was about that size. And that's a that's a good size. I mean, some of those, those uh, garlic pieces are pretty big. So that's going to do some really good stuff. So I will link a video down in the description on how I store my garlic for long periods of time in the refrigerator. I have a quick short video on how I do that and I still have some in the fridge and it's working out well. It's been uh, almost a year that I've had it in there and I still use it and it works great. So I'll probably do some of that again. Um, use some of this in probably some canning and this will do us really well for the winter time and for the $50 February challenge that we have uh, next year. This will go into a lot of our dishes to flavor them, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm gonna dry it here for a couple days and then I'll probably hang it, uh, try and clean it off some more, and then as I do that, I'll hang them. And they've gotta cure at least two to three weeks and so they'll I'll keep an eye on them out here and we'll see what happens so i got the bed all cleaned out got it all weeded i have cucumbers in there now so i wanted to get the weeds out of there so that they can grow i'm going to put something in here i'm not sure what yet something quick and that's it for this video we got some garlic thanks for watching